everybody, Winter here, and welcome to my 8K Q&A. Um, you guys, this is my first ever one of these. This is kind of weird. Like, I'm not a little tiny bitty picture. I'm a big face, so I got to use this. And you guys asked me a ton of questions, and we're going to dig right in, get right to it. I can't talk words, but you're used to that, and it's okay. So the very first thing I want to say is thank you guys, 8K, 8,000 subscribers. You're amazing. You guys have seriously, you're why I do this. If it wasn't for you, exactly, why would I be here? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everybody wants their questions answered, so I really want to get into this. Um, the first question comes from Eileen Stanton. 8K Q&A, what's your favorite animal? Unicorn. It's an animal. The unicorn is my favorite animal. <laughs> okay, the second one is from the fish, Gwen. Um, what is your favorite sandwich? My favorite sandwich is um, hard salami and pepper jack cheese with nothing else on it. Just bread, pepper jack cheese, and hard salami. I'm a weirdo. It's just what I like. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, Q&A from Sakana. Let's build. Mick, let's build. What was the first video, first game, video game, computer game did you play? I love your videos. Take care. Aw, thank you. Um, my first computer game was on something called a Commodore 64. Now, back in the day, that was the very first, like, really gaming computer that I ever had. Um, and um, it had these big, huge disks. And I used to, like, for a while think that the little tiny floppies weren't called floppies because they didn't flop. Like the big old 8-inch eight, eight ones. And my very first game was called Hoover Boover. And it was this lawnmower game where you had to mow a yard. And if you were basically mowing other people's yards because you were just that weird. And if they caught you, they took away the lawnmower. But it wasn't your lawnmower anyway. You went and borrowed somebody else's lawnmower. And it was a really weird game. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, Olivia Watson, was your favorite game when you were little? My favorite game. It had to be all the Final Fantasy games. I think I started playing on the Nintendo. It was like Final Fantasy. I want to say Final Fantasy 3? No, that was Super Nintendo. It was like 6 or something in Japan. I don't know, but the Final Fantasy games were always my favorite games. I love the story. I love the turn based RPG. I like the story. That was pretty much it. Um, the first game I played was Hoover Boover. It was from Dino Boy 34. Uh, Hello, Monteza. What is the nicest thing somebody has ever done for you? That would be um, Poet basically last year um, paying for a lot of uh, Beth and I to go to Minecon. So thank you. <laughs> that was like the nicest thing. I mean, he barely knew me and it was like, oh, you're amazing. Um, let's see here. Spinosaurus 3 plays Q&A. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time or my favorite movie current? Um, it'd have to be a tie between three movies. When I was, of all time, my three favorite movies would have to be Legend, um, Labyrinth, and The Last Unicorn of all time. My favorite current movies are Maleficent, um, Defenders of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, and I think those are my two favorite right now. Maleficent and Guardians of the Galaxy. I just hit my mic. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see here. Brendan Arendon Brown says, what's your fondest, fondest memory gaming? Um, I think my fondest memory gaming would have to be back when I used to play um, uh, City of Heroes. And we made this huge, amazing, amazing superhero um, group called um, Dimensional Defense Force or yeah, DDF. And it became one of the largest freaking groups. I was one of the founding members. And just the way we used to role play and stuff, it was kind of, it's kind of nerdy. But we used to like role play our characters a lot. And we used to do these missions that were so silly and didn't make any sense whatsoever. But we would role play them. And we would make it the most fun, fun adventure ever. So that is my fondest memory gaming. Um... Bobet Purple, Bobet, I'm probably mangling all of your names, asks, how many YouTubers have you met in person? Let's see. I have met Poet. I have met the Elemental Steve. I have met Drew. Um, I have met, 
plus if I match. Who else was there at Minecon? My own daughter's a YouTuber. Does that count? <laughs> um, we think. Who else was there? Steve and Drew. I met tons of YouTubers. Oh, I met, I met, I met, I met Mog Swamp, and I met um a dual get. <laughs> And, and then Wes, we met Wes at Minecon. That's how we met him. Um, I met so many people at Minecon. But in reality, I know that Code and I live in the same city, but I never have met him in person. So that's that. Um, the fish going to ask Q&A, do you even? I do not even. I cannot even. I have lost the ability to can. Okay. Um, Maya Tr Trotman, are you right or left-handed? I am right-handed. <laughs> Okay, so let's scroll up here. Stephanie Delaney, Q&A. After starting Let's Play Saturday to now, are you comfortable with doing face cam? You never get comfortable doing face cam. Um, if you are uncomfortable showing your face, you're always uncomfortable showing your face. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, our Araceli Heredia. I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm so sorry. Mwah. Um, what is your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza is always my favorite food. Gamer Girl Triple X says, "How old were you when you got your first video game?" Um, I played the Commodore 64 when I was I want to say 7 or 8. I was very young. Um, Karen Berenger, "What is your favorite game and if you were any mythical creature, what would you be?" Um, my favorite game of all time. I just say Minecraft right now, seriously, because there are so many ways to play Minecraft. It's just, I love it. <laughs> but I do, I do love playing MMOs. Um, I miss being able to play MMOs. I do like Wildstar. I just don't have the time to play it. If I wasn't doing YouTube, I would probably say an MMO. Um, I think the Seeker world was pretty amazing. It had a lot of potential. I had fun playing it. Um, I just want to say MMOs in general. I like playing games with people. Um, if I were any mythical creature, what would I be? I would be a unicorn. Because they're awesome. Um, James, James Zoe's middle Zoe says, Q&A, what inspired me to be a YouTuber? Actually, Poet inspired me to be a YouTuber and my kids because I thought when I, before I watched Poet, I thought you had to be like Tabuscus. Tabuscus is the only YouTuber I watched. I thought you had to be like really young and, um, just actually really attractive. <laughs> Not <laughs> I thought you had to be a younger, um, like a skinny model type person to be a YouTuber. Anybody like to watch you? Because I watched Jenna Marbles and, you know, Philip DeFranco. And I was just like, I could never, nobody would ever want to listen to me. And then my kids like to watch a lot of YouTube. And um, I saw Poet and he was making these kid friendly videos. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to do what he does. I want to, I want to make videos that I would let my kids watch. Not that, you know, cut, there's so many YouTubers out there that, that swear up and down. And I, I wanted my kids to be, see, see that you don't have to do that. You don't have to be that way. So that's why I started YouTube. Um, why did you used to stalk poet by living under his house in Minecraft? That was actually cause, um, before I started making YouTube videos, I would go to every single one of, uh, I would watch all of poets videos. I wish I could now. And now I can only watch some of them because I don't have time. But um, I would go to every single one of his videos and I would always leave a comment. And so I would say like a stalker. And then um, I got into Red Cube. It's like I stalked him onto Red Cube. And that was sort of like a funny thing because we were friends and it was like kind of a gag at the time. I was like, I'm your stalker. That's why I'm here. I hit my mute button. Okay, so... What happened? What P.S. What happened to the other Red Cube ladies? I don't know. I miss them. I miss Yuki and I miss I miss Navonia. I know Navonia quit YouTube. Um, I know Yuki is in college, so I miss them. I'd like to have a Red Cube reu lady reunion. Stephanie Giorgio says Q and A. What's your favorite soft drink? That would be cherry wild cherry Pepsi. I love it. Um, Q and A. From the ranting sage, how did you first meet Poet and are you why how are you such good friends? Okay, so if you have not heard this story, if you have, just skip ahead. Um, I used to run a public server called Lull Nation. 
Well, um, that server had the same IP as uh, another server uh, that he had advertised in one of his dinosaurs videos. So like ever occasionally we could get these people that would log on to my public server and be like, yeah, the archeology span mod rocks, poet rocks. And we're just like, who's poet? You know, and I'm just like, so I, I Googled him on YouTube or I searched for him on YouTube and I watched some of his videos and I sent him a message. It was like, hey, so um, you did a video where you advertised a server. It's like, could you please maybe like, you know, take that down, description down. And it's like, cause I don't want people coming to my server and getting mad or something. And he messaged me back and he was like, like, oh my God, this big, huge YouTuber took the time out of his day to message me back. So I made some jokes about like IP and stuff. And it was like, obviously we f he found out that I was going to school for IT and he was in IT. So we joke around about things. And so we kept talking back and forth and I was stalking him on YouTube and we just kept talking. And then one day, um, well, we would message back and forth. We weren't talking on Skype. And then one day he, uh, he, uh, jumped on lol nation and I about died. Like I was going, getting ready for bed and, um, suddenly, uh, Beth, Beth, like she, she goes, poets on the server. I'm like, no, -uh. she's like, uh-huh. It's like, no, -uh. so I get on the server. It's like, oh my God, poets on my server. So I like squeed, had a fangirl moment. It was funny. So there was that. Um, and we've been friends ever since we've been talking ever since. Um, Wardy Frogs says Q and A, if you could choose one song title, to describe your experience from when you first started YouTube and to now, what would they, what would it be and why? Um, my first, it would probably be a song by Bush Walker called My Way. I love this, this song. You have to listen to it. It's basically like, I'm going to do it my way because it's my way or the highway and I'm not going to do it any other way. <laughs> so if you don't like it, go away. <laughs> and I think that pretty much sums it up. I've sort of like marched the beat of my own drum. Um, everyone's like, this is how you have to YouTube. And I'm like. This is how I YouTube. It either works and people stick around or it doesn't. They can go somewhere else. I don't care because the people who are here are the people that matter to me, not the other ones. So that's it. Um, let me scroll up. Mitchell McCullen asks, I have two questions. One is, can I do the, oh, the UHC with you? And two, how did you get to be on the time shot server? Uh, one, sorry, you can't be in the, the UHC with me. I already have uh, a, a, uh, person who's in the UGC with me. Um, maybe next time we're going to bring a subscriber in next time. Uh, how did I get to be in the time shot server? I'm one of the, um, I'm one of the admins. Um, all three of us, uh, uh, me and Poet and, um, Liam all made the server together. So that, that's how I got the time shot server. I helped make it. Um, soon Liam's going to be leaving and I'm going to be sad. I'm going to cry and shed a little tear. It's going to be sad. And it's just going to be me and Poet. So that's how I got on the Time Shot server. It helps when you made it. <laughs> um, Blue Creeper. So, oh, that's not a question. Um, Demka. Demka, one of my friends, says, what is your favorite food and drink? Uh, my favorite food's pizza. My favorite drink's cherry Pepsi. And my favorite animals are unicorns. <laughs> uh, Denny asks, what are your plans for the future of my channel? Games, visual makeover. Um, I don't really have any plans for my channel. It's just sort of going as it goes. I'd like to do more live streams. Maybe in the far, far future, I'd like to be pro. I'd like to get some more Gary's Mod on there. I do like playing Gary's Mod. I haven't had time to play it. I don't have a lot of friends who play it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I want a visual makeover. I would like to, um, I would like, I don't know. We'll see, Denny. We'll see. <laughs> let's see here um lewis white asks what's your first game in console my first console would have to be atari atari is a console right that was i mean the commodore 64 was a pc and my first game was the hoover boover on the pc on the commodore 64 um and may games ask what are the ages of all your children well bath is 14 um, you can see a link to her channel on my front page. Uh, Lillian is eight and Thomas is five. Um, Josiah Culpepper asks, if you were stuck on an island, what three things would you have brought? One person, one food, and whatever the heck you want. 
Um, one person I would bring, I wouldn't bring my kids because I wouldn't want them stuck on a desert island. That would suck. And I wouldn't want to just pick one of my kids. Um, I'd want to bring somebody. I don't know who I'd bring. <laughs> somebody really good at survival because I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to bring the most craftiest survival person ever. What food would I want to bring? Something that I could probably harvest and eat later. And whatever that heck, heck I want. Probably fertilizer or some dirt to grow some food in. Um, let's see. What we got here? At what time is your live stream? Which time zone are you living in? My live streams are whenever and I live in Eastern Standard Time. Um, Silent V Stalker asks, funniest thing that ever happened to you? Funniest thing. Um, hmm. This is the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. I don't. I think all my funny events are on YouTube, so. <laughs> I have fun all the time, so I can't think of that. That is a really good question, though. If I can think of it, I will tell you. I will tell you in person, okay, Silent? Okay, let's see here. Um, code as what is your favorite thing about the place where you live? I love my air conditioning and the pool here. It's amazing. That and the fact that I have Beth living with me now. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. And that's all the questions. So once again, I wanted to say thank you to everybody for, for being here with me. I love all your faces and we'll have to do this again. This is kind of fun. So bye-bye.